Hey everyone, welcome to another episode in the React Foundation series. So in this episode right here, this is a pretty special episode for me. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about the library uh, that I've been using that I created, uh, you know, for the company. And basically, it's called Fronto.js. And Fronto.js is a collection of libraries. And basically, um, what it is is just like an easy, like it's a code that will enable us to easily access like data backends, like for example, a RESTful API. Um, and so basically, uh, what we're going to be doing is now we're going to be interacting with another model in our invoiced API. And uh, so what we need to do is have some kind of like unified way of doing it. Like if we just create, keep creating our own um, collections and models, then, you know, things will kind of like, we'll just have a, like a different implementation. Um, so what this is, is kind of like an extraction of like the work that I've been doing with React when I'm using MobX. Uh, so this is a layer that sits on top of MobX. Um, you know, I've been using MobX for a lot of projects. And uh, basically, essentially, everything that I've learned, uh, you know, has been extracted into a library. And so what I'm going to be doing for you guys in this episode is we're going to be creating a new store in our application. And then basically, we're going to be using that store. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do just that. So um, let's hop right into the code. So this is the, the project. There's going to be two projects I'm going to be focusing on, the Fronto API and the Fronto Connect. And, um, you know, leave me any feedback, uh, you know, submit issues in here. Also, go ahead and star the repositories if you find them useful. Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's hop right in. So I'm going to head into the code over here. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first set up, um, so let's set up the, the project. So I'm going to yarn add fronto connect and then a yarn add fronto API yarn add fronto API like that. Okay, so it says here it has incorrect peer dependency. Um, so let's take a look at the code and see what's going on in the package.json. Um, MobX. So we're using a very old version of MobX. So I'm going to do a yarn upgrade MobX. And yarn upgrade MobX React as well. All right. All right, so we should have all the new packages. We've upgraded MobX. We've upgraded MobX, MobX React. We also have Fronto Connect and Fronto API in our package.json now. So we can now leverage this in our project. So I'm going to head over into the store and I'm going to create a store called account.js. And in here, I'm going to do an import connect from fronto connect. All right. So now we're going to start with a class account extends connect. And here, uh, it keeps things pretty simple. So if we take a look at the documentation, you'll see here that all we have to supply is the namespace and the resource. So uh, namespace. v1 and then we have resource accounts so basically um, now we need to export default accounts actually let's try mix and scopes as well uh, so I'm gonna do a mix account scopes dot readable so where's all this code coming from? Well, let's take a look. I'm going to go into uh, a little bit of a deep dive. So I'm going to actually go into the source code. So there are some default scopes that uh, I've already included uh, with the package. And so what are scopes? Scopes are just function calls that make it very easy for us to do things like find by, and then we can add, pass in a parameter, uh, and then a find all, and we can pass in the parameter to filter through. 
Um, so a lot of the heavy lifting in terms of parsing in the URL has been done by this library for us. It makes it very, very easy for us to use. So I'm going to start with the default everything. And then if we need to write our own scopes, we can write our own scopes and mix it into our stores. So um, we will do just that if we need to. So for now, we're just going to have the scopes. And the scopes, ha we have readable and we have writable. So certain, um, you know, certain... Uh, stores don't need to have writable access. So that's, you know, that keeps things pretty clean. So now we have the scopes. We, we can mix the account into the scope. So this is like a mix in uh, JavaScript style. So yeah, th that should be pretty much it, li really. Like that's all we need to do. So the next thing we're going to need to do is define the API. So what do I need mean by that? Let, let's take a look at the Fronto um, API endpoint. So over here, Fronto API. And basically what this is, is it's a tool that allows us to define an endpoint. And basically, um, you know, the, the way that I'm using React now is like I have a, a front end app that can interact with multiple backends. So I can define my own endpoint and then I can pass endpoint in and I can choose to use, you know, which stores I want to use with which endpoints. So, you know, this basically allows me to do all of that stuff. So I'm going to head over into here and basically I'm going to import the API over here. So import from Fronto API. And then basically we can define our own uh, source, data source uh, or an endpoint. And uh, we're going to do just that. So over here, um, it's HTTP. So here it's going to be the source. And then we have some headers and all that stuff. We don't need to do any of that stuff. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Uh, so const endpoint equals API. And then we're going to have endpoint and then HTTP local host 3000. So that's pretty much all we need to do um, to define the endpoint. So how do we use this? Well, very simple. So I'm going to go into const models equals. And here I'm going to define account. And so what we need to do now is we need to import um, the store, the account store that we just, ha that we, just ha we have over here. Uh, so I'm going to do an import over here. All right account like that. And it basically, um, you know, it's slightly different from what we were doing before. But you know, this will help us remove a lot of code that you know, we don't need to rewrite over and over. Um, so yeah, you'll see you know, where all this comes in very, very soon. So now we have to define the model accounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, new. Um, actually, we need to import the store first. So you know, we have we already have imported the store. So stores. And then basically here we have the account. So new stores dot account. Actually I want to use a account like that. So we have two styles mixed in here. We have the you know the previous style, the older one that I've been using, which is the collection and model, and we write our own whatever. Um, and the account, this is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to need to instantiate the the account the account here. So account like that. So you you notice the difference here. Right here, we instantiated you know the account class, the context class right here, and then we passed it into our provider. Now what we're doing is we're instantiating it here, passing in the endpoint, and here's where the, tr where the trick comes in. We're defining the endpoint, and we're passing the endpoint, and then what we need to do is basically uh, pass the models into the provider, and then, then we'll have access to this uh, model here. So that should be it. All right, so now we can do models. All right, so that's pretty much it in terms of the setup. We need to do one more thing, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it over here, which is how do we pass in 
headers? How do we pass in like, you know, the logic where, you know, we need to detect headers? Like if you notice, uh, we're doing it um, over in, um, in our user model where we pass in the header. Like, you know, if you take a look at the lib directory here, helpers API. So basically Fronto API replaces this over here, like this whole thing. Like we don't need to manage this code anymore. Um, and so basically it keeps things pretty simple. So basically we need to add in another option, which is allows us to do the header, um, you know, doing all this stuff. Uh, and there's a different way to doing it. Like it's a nicer way. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that in the next episode. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this introduction to the first um, Fronto module, the Fronto Connect module, and the Fronto API. In the next part, so this is going to be a two-part uh, introduction. Uh, we're going to be, you know, setting up the headers, and and I'm going to demo to you guys that you know things are working. Uh, with that, I want to wrap it up. So like, share, and subscribe. Also become a member to get access to all of our content. Uh, with that, I want to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.